her ass up. Okay, you guys, I had to get up rather early today because my neighbors are getting themselves a new roof. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. To your family, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay. Obviously, um, I have to get up. And I have to get out uh, because uh, these folks don't think that nobody else exists except them. You get no warning. So, you know, they started off pretty early, you know. But, uh, you know, I wanted to say something uh, because, you know, it's really serious during these times right here with the COVID and us being under quarantine and all. So it's it really easy to get very frustrated and just pretty much go ballistic. Um, and then your habits, at least your bad habits and the things that are crutches for you become a lot more intense. Um, your drug use will probably pick up a lot more. You're not at any kind of peace. So you have to watch your anxiety levels. And what I was just looking at was an article that says, um, you know, Manhattan shooting gallery is what they, which is pretty crazy, is what they titled the article. Okay. And um, what it says is junkies overrun Manhattan midtown neighborhood. I mean, they overran it. And you might say, well, what the hell you mean by they overran it? They are shooting up in broad daylight, leaving behind drug-filled needles as shocking photos show a woman injecting a syringe into her arm. Locals say the plaza at Broadway and West 40th Street has seen an influx of drug addicts. Mm. Heron, the boy, the skag. <sighs> Shocking photos show a woman injecting a substance into her arm in broad daylight on Wednesday. Now, how crazy is that? How, how, how crazy is that, you guys? Um, Officials at City Hall have acknowledged the situation and branded it entirely unacceptable. You think? Or as my grandbaby would say, duh. Uh, but locals officials say the so-called shooting gallery is only getting worse because nothing is being done to address it. The apparent rise in brazen drug public use comes as New York City is roiled by an alarming surge in crime. So, of course, they're going to blame it for the uh, defunding or the cutting of the police budget. This is all set up stuff, you know. It's a script. It's a script, you know. Escape from New York. A section of New York really has to be cleaned up. They are out here shooting drugs in broad daylight. And so, and when the coronavirus pandemic struck in March, those buildings were emptied out in an eerie quiet setting, inviting an influx of addicts that have turned the plaza into a shooting gallery. And it's littered with needles and, uh, and drug paraphernalia. According to area workers and business owners in the area. Officials say that City Hall has acknowledged the unsettling situation and has branded it unacceptable. Um, knowing that the pandemic is only getting worse and that nothing is being uh, done to exact, exactly curb it. So the, they don't know how they're going to curb it. I bet if they would know. If it does, if it don't serve an agenda purpose, they would know exactly what to do. 
I think that's pretty messed up, guys. Um, and they got a woman out here seen right here. She's seen right in broad daylight at an intersection. My God. On 40th Street, Broadway. She's on West 40th Street, though. Uh, and the images are horrible. If y'all get a chance to check that out, look at it. I mean, because this could be coming to a city near you. Because the, as more desperate as these situations get, the more drugs people won't confiscate. I mean, are going to consume. I don't know where they're going to confiscate them from, but they definitely going to consume them. And they're going to consume an awful lot more um, to, to, to mask the depression and to hide the feelings of hopelessness and helplessness. So we have to be on the lookout for that family and uh, check on your loved ones. Make sure you do that. All right. With that being said, I, I, I'll see you in the next video.